Hello everybody and uh, welcome to Wacky Wednesday. It is the uh, 22nd today and um, I'm doing a Wednesday series instead of a Thursday one because my Thursdays have got quite busy. So I've got nice time on a Wednesday afternoon to get this video done. I uh, hope you're all well and uh, enjoying this beautiful weather. Um, I've been busy with bookkeeping and things so I haven't had enough time in my garden but I'm planning on definitely getting out there this weekend and uh, spending some time digging and playing with the earthworms. <laughs> uh, today, what are we doing today? Well, I feel like we have quite a bit of work that we can target our tummies with. I know we did start on Monday with a little bit of stomach uh, exercises, um, but I feel like today we can really focus on um, isolating uh, the core and uh, working from the core to the upper body and from the core to the lower body. So that's what we're going to do. But first we are going to get loose and warm up the body. So let's stand up. <coughs> All right, so here we go. Standing feet hip width apart, parallel. Get your weight evenly between the toe and the heel. Lengthen up the top of the head towards the ceiling. Slight turn out on the, on the shoulders so that the thumbs pull out slightly. They're parallel. Try and get it so that they're hanging with your middle finger on the seam, if you had a seam on your pants. And that's going to let you know that you're kind of aligned in the right way from the toes upwards. Okay. Good. All right. We're going to do a roll down. So chin to chest. Make sure you get your chin to chest before anything else moves. Okay, so don't slouch immediately. Get that chin down. And then you can curl the rib cage down into the stomach, letting the arms hang. Now notice they don't hang into the midline. I haven't rounded my shoulders. They're still nice and open. It's just my rib cage coming in. And then I'm going to really tighten my glutes and pull them away from my spine. So I'm really pulling them down and letting the spine roll over. So I'm lengthening that lower back. Okay, and I'm going to curl down some more until I can't but help move my hips. And then I'm going to flow forward and hang. And when I'm hanging, my head's relaxed. My arms are hanging. Nice and loose. And then take your weight slightly forward over the toes so that you're not leaning behind your feet. Okay, bring your weight slightly forward without falling on your face. And then we're going to curl up to your bend your knees, tuck the bum under, scoop in the tummy muscles, keep those shoulders open, and curl up. Okay, let's do three of those, and I want to make sure that when you do them, that you never actually let your shoulders close in the chest here. Okay, imagine that they've got a, a nice uh, pole holding them at 27 centimeters apart, <laughs> or whatever that measurement is. And at no time during the roll down do they close in on, on this area. That stays nice and open. Don't make it too stiff, but just make sure that you keep that ch those shoulders nice and open when they're hanging so that they don't close in on each other. Okay, they don't need to. When you're hanging, you've still got your thumbs pointing forward, okay, keeping your shoulders open and not closed, pointing inward. Bring the weight forward over your toes. Let your neck and head hang. And then bend your knees and again, keep those shoulders open and scoop in the tummy muscles and curling up. <sighs> okay, a lot to think of. But this way, really keep this nice open chest the scapula are holding the position, your lats are still got a little bit of work going on, and your spine is actually getting all the curling and curling motion. All right, let's do one more. Get that weight evenly balanced. Chin to chest. Sink in that ribcage, keeping those shoulders open. Scoop in the tummy and roll forward. Down until you can't, you have to release your hips and then curling forward and hanging. Weight forward over your toes, head and shoulders relaxed. Bend the knees, tuck, 
tail and uh, scooping the tummy muscles and curl up. Okay, nice deep breath in, arms overhead, stretch that right arm up to the ceiling and the left arm up to the ceiling. Get as much of a stretch from the heel to the fingertips. Right side and left side. One more, right side and left side. Now I'm going to bring my arms forward and stretching each time, stretching out of that shoulder blade. Notice that my hands are still shoulder width apart. Okay. I haven't closed my chest. And down to the side, down the seam, down the seam, down the seam, down the seam. And then take another nice deep breath in. Fill those lungs up. Palms are facing each other. Stretch right, stretch left. Bring those arms forward, stretching as much as you can from that shoulder. Stretching. Keep those arms shoulder width apart. Stretch, and you should feel that stretch when you come to the front, the side of the breastbone. All right, and then down the seam, down the seam, down the seam without moving the hips. Okay, I'm just going upper body, down the seam, down the seam, and release. One more, nice deep breath. Arms overhead, palms facing each other. Stretch that right arm, stretch that left arm. Notice also I don't lift my chin. <laughs> so much instruction. All right. Bring those arms forward, stretch, stretch, stretch. Oh, so nice to stretch those shoulder blades. Good, now they've got nicely stretched forward and up, so let's stretch them back. Take the arms behind the back and pull that chest open. Again, keeping the head level, don't move the head around. Just pull those shoulder blades, release, and pull them back. Now those shoulder blades, the, the scapula at the back are squunched together. Chest is nice and open. <laughs> oh my word. I won't even tell you what happened there. Breathe in and again, open up the chest. A bug flew right into my face. <laughs> Sun is coming. Or am I overly optimistic? And release. Nice. Okay, we're going to take one arm overhead and just stretch one arm up, one arm down. So we're getting an alternate on the shoulder blades. Right arm up, left arm down, and then left arm up, right arm down. I'm not moving across the midline now. Straight in the center, just stretching. Oh, I can feel my shoulders going. Right arm and left arm. Right arm and left arm. Right arm and left arm. And yes, take the arms to shoulder height. Take the legs a little bit wider. Okay. And you're going to turn your right foot out. Keep your shoulders square and then you're going to bend into your uh, into a lunge and you just keep moving that foot so that you get a nice wide lunge shoulders are still stable center down okay right legs out make sure that this knee when you go into a nice lunge my left toes are pointing towards the camera my right toes are pointing through that way to the right <laughs> okay my arms are outstretched palms down and i'm going to lunge to that right foot I'm keeping my knee and my foot in line with the, sh the shoulder and the hand. Okay, so I've got a direct middle toe, knee, hand to shoulder, nice and aligned there. Okay, glutes are tight and I'm squared up. Drop that chin down. Okay, we're going to drop this elbow, right elbow, down onto that right knee and we're going to stretch over with the left arm. Whoa, that's a good stretch. <laughs> mm, scoop of the tummy muscles. Bring it back and straighten out. We're going to do that three times, okay? Make sure this right knee doesn't go over the foot. Ready? Lunge. Bring that elbow down. And bring the arm over. I'm not turning to face that knee. I'm still facing forward. Shoulder on top of shoulder, knee on top of, elbow on top of knee, all in alignment. And bring it back. One more. Whew. Straightening out those hips. Bending that right leg, dropping the elbow down, and stretching over, scooping the tummy muscles, bring those ribs in, support the neck, and bring it back. Ah, good stuff. Drop those arms, turn those feet in. And you can step it out if you want to. Shake out those hips. Shake everything up. And we're going to go over to the other side. So, nice and wide. Left foot 
turn to the left. Arms are stretched. We're in a lunge. And I'm going to just set my distance so that my knee doesn't go over my foot. Shoulders down, chin tucked in. Okay? You're going to bend that left elbow down to the left knee and reach over with the right arm. It's a beautiful extended stretch. And back up. Arms out stretched. Shoulders down. Straighten that leg. Number two. Bend that left knee, sinking between the legs. Shoulders square. Pull this elbow down. Left elbow down. Right arm over and stretch. Oh, my love handles are getting in the way. <sighs> and up. One more. Let's love elbow, love handles. Goodness. Okay. One more. Left bend. Tuck that chin in. And elbow to knee. Arm over. Stretching. My dog wants to come inside. I'm coming now, my love. And up we go. Turn the toes forward. Release the arms. Come on. Say hi to everybody. Say hi. Are you going on my bed? Come on, come. Up, up. Good girl. <laughs> ah, what a laugh to be my dog. I love you. All right. We're going to just stretch out those glutes and put the right foot over the left. We normally end here, but we're starting here. And we're going to just roll down, keeping the shoulders open. Drop the head and shoulders. Bring the weight forward over the toes without falling forward. And curling up. Left foot over in front of the right. And curling forward. And hang. Bring the weight forward over the toes. Relax the neck and shoulders. And curl up. She wants to go for a walk, so I'm getting a dirty look. Seriously dirty look. <laughs> We're going to go now, now. Yes. Okay. All right. Let's do some toe raises here before we go down to the ground. Um, shoulders open. Top of the head reaching to the ceiling. Lengthening the spine, but keeping the ribs down. Tummy muscles in. Feet hip width apart and parallel. Here we go. Up into the toes. Get your alignment. Hold it for as long as you can. And heels down. And then we're just going to bend the knees to stretch the keys. Standing up straight, lifting the heels. Pull the ankles in, heels out. Get a nice straight line on the foot. Heels down and bend the knees. Creak. <laughs> Standing up. Up onto the toes. Heels down and bend. Make sure when you're bending your knees here that the alignment's in place. You're not going all bow-legged chicken and a knock-kneed hen. All right, and up. Number four. Up into the toes, heels in the air. Shoulders open, chin tucked in, tummy in. And heels down. Remember when you bring your heels down to keep pressure on the outside of the foot. Because a lot of times those heels will come into the midline. Uh, it's generally most people's stance. It's the heels in, toes out. Not always, but just be conscious of that when you bring your heels down. All right, up we go. Nice balancing. I can't wait to see you all again and see how much you've improved. <laughs> I hope. And heels down and bend the knees. I'm going to do three more. Up onto the toes, whoops. Tuck that chin in, open those shoulders, scoop in the tummy. Now my calves are warming up. Heels down and bend. Two more. Up onto the toes. I kind of like it if you lose your balance because then you really have to work hard to maintain it. And the muscles and the legs and feet have to work hard. So it's not too bad. Just keep fighting for balance. And one more. Up onto the toes. My chin keeps lifting, so drop your chin if you're like me. Heels down, 
bend the knees and shake it out. Good. Just bending the knee, bring that heel in front of you, tapping, 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 tapping the heel on the ground. Tap, tap. Turn the knee out now. Tap, tap. <laughs> Skull thinks I'm making you guys dance. I'm just getting you loose. Turn the knee out and tap. If we put some music on and I just add some hand movements, it would be like dancing. <laughs> In fact, this morning when I was doing a meditation, the message came through to say, dance a bit today. So I guess I am dancing a bit today, even though I haven't got music playing. <laughs> Tapping away. Now we're going to tap behind. Tap and tap and tap and tap and tap and tap. <laughs> I should have put music on. I'm honoring my instructional being that says dance today. <laughs> Good. Tap a few more times and shake it out. Good. Are your hips loose? Nice. You can hold it to something if you need to, but we're going to grab that right foot and just stretch through the quadricep to the knee. <clears throat> ah, good stretch. Lengthen up the body. And release. Left side, grab that foot. Hold on tight. You can use a TheraBand or a towel if you need to. Oh, I'm feeling tight muscles on the side. I'd like to blame you, but I know it wasn't you. It was something I did. Good. All right. And the last warming up we're going to do before we go into the tummy is a nice and wide stance. Okay. You're going to push your hips back and you come down into the ground with your hands. Drop your head and really get your chest as close to your knees as possible. So you're going to really press in between your legs. Okay, and then you're going to bend your knees and sit between them. I always think of this as a spider spinning a web, that stance. <laughs> okay, so you're standing up straight, toes are pointing forward, push your hips back, bring your upper body down, and swing between the legs, hang. Place your hands on the ground. And bend your knees, stick your bum down like a spider. And up. Go on, guys, you can do this one too. Okay, don't now skip it. <laughs> it's a really great exercise for the glutes, hips, and the lower back. One more, ready? And folding down, hang between the legs. Legs are straight. Place the hands down and bend the knees and push that bum down. Feels great. Push that bum down. And release. Good. Shake it out. That feels lovely. All right. So the first exercise we're going to do is going to be on our backs. And... <clears throat> Trying not to see my dog. Give me dirty looks. Can you see him? <laughs> Most unimpressed. <laughs> She's like, don't tire yourself out, okay? We still have to walk. Cutie pie. Alright. Where were we? On our backs. Now I said to you, we're going to be working the tummy, so that is what we're going to do. I like to keep my arms up in the air for this, so that I can keep my shoulders nicely down. Okay, I've got a bun in my hair today, that's not very clever. We're going to take our legs into bag, and I'm going to push my lower back down, okay? And I'm going to bring my knees to my shoulders, so I'm going to tuck my bum under and back, tuck under and back, tuck under and back, keeping the head on the ground, so don't do this, okay, <sighs> keep your arms nice and straight, up to the ceiling, and just tuck the bum under, and pull the knees 
I'm also not doing this. Okay, I'm not collapsing the knees. That's like a bit of a cheat. Okay, keep this bike position, tuck the bum under, and pull that whole bottom area off the mat. Okay, enough talking. Let's do it. Three sets of eight. Ready? One, and forward. Scoop in the tummy muscles. Two, three, four. Get some air <laughs> under that butt. Six, stabilize. Seven, out breath. Eight, one. Yeah, we just saw my going on. Two, I don't know why I don't say we're doing 24. Just three sets of eight sounds better. Five, six, keep those shoulders down. Chin tucked in. Seven, that's not so bad. Eight, let's do one more set. One, two, three. Do you feel that six pack? Four, five, six, seven, and eight and open the knees push the feet together and we're going to crunch up with the upper body now one two i know it's the same muscles <laughs> four that's a bit unfair five six use a tummy don't use a neck and shoulders nine that's one two three Four, five, six, whew, seven, and eight. Last set. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Oh, and release. Oh, stretch those tummy muscles out. Get my hair back under control. Mm. All right. Moving on. And again, stay on your back. Bring your feet a little bit closer to your body. And you're going to do, uh, keep your feet and knees together, actually. You're going to tuck your bum under and you come up to your shoulder bridge. Then you're going to open the knees up. Keeping the hips pushed up and squeeze those knees together. Okay. Open the knees and squeeze them together. Keeping the feet together. Keep the hips pushed up. Scooping the tummy muscles, shoulders on the ground. Long back of the neck. Ready. Here we go. One. Squeeze. And two. And three. Four. Five. Keep those ribs pulling down. Six. Tummy again. Seven. Eight, glutes tight. One, two, three, four, shoulders open. Five, six, seven, eight, now. Eight, last set. Don't lighten that squeeze. Squeeze hard. Bums up and glutes tight. One, push up. Two, three, four, five, all <laughs> oh, my glutes. Six, seven, and eight. Oh, we yeah. and release. Oh, we. Ah, that was supposed to be a stomach exercise, but it really worked my glutes. To release that, we're going to just take the right leg up to the ceiling, stretch up, and drop that left leg. Get a nice stretch. All right. Stay up with the upper body. Scoop it hard in the tummy muscles. Keep the shoulders nice and open and change legs. Keep that head and shoulders up. Change. Concentrate on the tummy using holding this position. Two. Stomach muscles. And three. Don't let those knees turn out and keep that chin tucked in. Four. Five. Shoulders open. Six. Seven and eight. Bend the knees, relax the upper body. All right, so it really should be about the ribs and the hip bones trying to connect with each other, trying to form a relationship, and not the neck and head trying to hold the whole system up. 
Okay. Whew. Round two, ready. Remember, if you've got a weak neck and shoulders, you can't hold that position, go ahead and hold with one arm. Okay. Don't hurt yourself. For those that can, don't make excuses. <laughs> All right. Right leg up. Get the upper body up. Open those shoulders. Scoop in the tummy muscles. Breathe in. And change. And change. Three. Four. Five. Come up with that upper body. Six. Tummy muscles. Seven. And eight. Release. We've got one more set. Ready. Right leg up, left leg down. Come up with the upper body. Scoop in the tummy muscles. Get that belly pulling in. Shoulders open. Lightly holding the leg. Don't hang on for dear life. Knees turn forward. Don't let them turn out. Ready. One. Two, three, four, breathe, five, six, I know, add one in there, seven, and eight, and release. Okay, knees open side to side, rock those hips. Nicely done. Alright, arms up to the ceiling. Flatten that spine for your shoulder bridge. We're just going to loosen up this area. So just push your hips forward, giving yourself an arch in the back. Make a hollow here. Okay, that's hip bones pressing towards the knees. Then you're going to pull the hip bones back towards the rib cage. Okay, and flattening the spine on the mat. Pressing the hip bones forward and arching, creating more space between the ribs and the pelvis, closing the space between pelvis and ribs. Okay? Arms up to the ceiling, pushing the hips forward, away from the rib cage. Mm -hmm. Breathe in and exhale, tucking the ribs in, pulling the hip bones back, flattening the spine but keeping the glutes on the ground. Press those hip bones away from the rib cage, arching the spine and tucking under, pulling them towards the ribs, pressing them away from the ribs, pulling them towards the ribs. Please watch my upper body as I do this. I'm not lifting the chin, dropping the chin. I'm not rounding the shoulders. They stay nice and solid. Okay, it's all happening below the rib cage. Okay, the whole spine is being affected, but I'm localizing it to the lower back, even though the whole spine is getting stretched. Okay, so really practice that and keeping the head and shoulders stable during that. Flex under and over. I'm going to just do a couple more. Join in with me. Flatten the spine. Scoop in the tummy muscles. Relax the shoulders. Practice that. Tense, relaxed. Tense, relaxed. Okay? Glutes are tight. Hip bones are pulled back. Ribs are pulled down. Tummy muscles are in, but my shoulders are open and relaxed. And then I'm going to push the, shoulder, the hips forward. Relaxing the stomach muscles, letting them pop out for the breath in. And then I'm tucking under, putting my breath out. Breathing in to release. And exhale. And last one, breathing in. And tightening. Okay, nicely done. That's a really great exercise for the lower back. I'm going to keep my arms here, but I'm going to take my legs out to the side. I'm going to press my right hand up slightly. Head's looking to the ceiling. Knees are both over to the right. Feel a nice stretch here. Keep pressing that right shoulder up. And now I'm going to take it over to the left. Arms up to the ceiling. Stretching the left arm up slightly. Keep those feet on top of each other. Knees on top of each other. Look up to the ceiling. Good. 
forward. Lovely stretch here. And back to center. Hands under the knees, rolling like a ball. Just to release that spine. Let's roll. Rolly, rolly, roll. Oh, that's good. And just one more. And release. Okay, arms up to the ceiling. Yay. All right, so we're going to take the knees bent. Right leg to bug, left leg to bug. Right leg up to the ceiling, left leg to the ceiling. Open the legs, pull them together. Left bend, right bend, right down, left down. Okay, like a train. Left leg bug, right leg bug. Left leg to the ceiling, right. Open the legs, bring them together. Bend at the right, bend at the left, right leg down, left leg down. Okay, why are we doing this? The entire time I want your stomach muscles to be, what is, what, sorry? <laughs> yes, keeping stability here. So as the legs do their halting, you're not going to be moving the shoulders and the arms and everything. Get a nice stability, keep that core nice and strong. All right, going right leg to bug. Stabilize those hips as you do it. Scoop in the tummy muscles, left leg to bug. Right extend, left extend. Open nice and wide, that's a good release. Close. Left leg to bug, right leg to bug. Left leg down, right leg down. Left to bug, right to bug. Left extend, right extend. Open the legs, close the legs. Right to bug, left to bug, right leg down, left leg down. Okay, that was two. Scoop in the tummy, open those shoulders, keep those thumbs pointing back, not turned in. Long back of the neck. Right to bug, left to bug. Where's your tummy muscles? Right extension, left extension. Open and close. Right, left right, left, stabilize, left to bug, right to bug, left extend, right extend, open and close, left, right, left to ground, right to ground, relax those hips, shake it out, stabilize, right to bug, left to bug, right extend, left extend, Open wide and close. Lower back pressing down, shoulders open, long back of the neck. Left bend, right bend. Left to ground, right to ground. Okay. Left leg to bug, right to bug. Left extend up, full extension. Right extend up. Open and close. Right to bug, left to bug. Right down, left down. Shake it out. Three more sets. Right to bug. Left to bug. Full extension. Left extension. Open legs. Where your arms, where your shoulders, where's your neck. Left down, right down, left down, right down. Left leg. Left to bug. Right to bug. Left extend up. Make sure your knee isn't turned out sideways. It's facing back. Right extended. Open, close, right to bug, left to bug, right down, left down. Whew, one more on each leg. Ready, and right to bug, stabilize those tummy, shoulders open and back, left to bug, right extension, left, open and close, left to bug, right to bug, left to ground, Right to ground, relax. Last one on the left, ready? Left to bug, right to bug. Left extend, right extend. Open, left bend, right bend, left down, right down. Release and curl up. All right, so there is a lot of work on our back. I need you to release your shoulders now and your back. So sit up for me. Redo your hair. <laughs> okay. Slide out that left leg, bring the hip, bring that right leg in. Square up. Pull that left hip back, okay? So that the hips are in line. 
and stretch forward with the right arm over the left leg. Relax it for a sec. And release. Bring that right leg forward, pull the right hip back, tuck in the left leg. Oh, I'm tight here. Hang on. All right. Left arm over the right leg, drop in the chin and stretch the top of the head forward. Keep that left knee pushing down. Nice. All right. I did say to you that we're working on the core. So one of the nicest work on the core is, again, the plank. We haven't done the plank for, what, two weeks, three weeks? How long? I don't know. Tell him my pause. Yes, I don't want to uh, So we're going to go onto the plank. And we're not going to do, uh, we're going to do three sets of eight counts, okay? So we're not going from here. We're going to go from the hands and knees, and then you can go from the stomach. Onto the elbows. Try not to hook your hands together, though it does seem like with a bit of prayer you can get through this. But keep your hands flat down on the ground. Slide your legs back into your plank position. Make sure you're not dropped into an arc back because that's going to put a lot of pressure on your lower back. Equally, don't lift the bum, okay, because that's not really a plank. So you want to try and get a nice straight line between the heel and the shoulders. Okay, are you ready? Into your plank position, scoop in the tummy muscles. Don't let the head fall forward. Push through the center of the chest to the ceiling. And we hold for eight, seven, six. Five, four, three, two, and one. Release. Okay, checking points. Keep those heels pushed away. Keep that center between, uh, on the back of the neck, between the shoulders. Keep that pressing up. Don't let it slouch in. Don't let your two scapulas like, try and crunch towards each other. Keep them nice and braced. Keep the latissimus dorsi. Keep those muscles under the armpit the side of the breast, keeping them pulling down towards the hip and um, to pull the scapula down, okay? Keep the, tu the, the tummy, keep the tummy tucked in, love. Keep your stomach muscles in, okay, on that elevation. And breathe, please. <laughs> and then you can do a nice eight count hold. Ready for round two. Up we go, pressing forward, pressing the heels back, pressing through the shoulder blades, scooping the tummy muscles, and counting eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and release. Nice. You guys are made of steel today. Most importantly, don't let this neck do this thing in the in the plank, okay? You really want to keep a length and from the top of the head to the tailbone. Keep it nice and long. Okay, don't let that shoulders collapse. All right. Keep that chin tucked in and don't let the head drop. Otherwise, all good. All right. Third set. Shoulders nice and strong. Tummy tucked in. Breathing. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. And release. And you can go ahead into a nice shell stretch and relax the body. Okay. So sometimes that can cause a bit of discomfort between the shoulder blades. So all we're going to do to loosen it up is arch and round the back a little bit. So arching down, rounding, dropping the head. And then pull one shoulder forward and then the other shoulder. You can make it like an S if you're looking from above the body. Arching, pull hip to shoulder, hip to shoulder, hip to shoulder, hip to shoulder. Arch and arch. Good. All right. So now onto the side plank. Yay! Ah, if, you've got, um, if you've got shoulder issues, you want to keep a real stable shoulder with the plank, okay? You don't want to allow the shoulder to climb up to the ear like this because it's stretching out of the joint. 
and the muscles are being stretched too much and this is shortening so you really want to keep that shoulder pulling away from the ear okay in that plank position keep it strong don't let it slip into this area keep it lengthened away as much as possible okay keep the lats tight and you slide your legs down when you come up okay you're extending the legs you can bring your arm up to the ceiling or you can use it to balance yourself there okay and make sure that the shoulder and the elbow are in line that you're not pushed over the shoulder because then your joints is going to be very sore you want it directly over and your head you want supported so don't let your head hang and don't lift it you want a nice straight line between between the two shoulders okay go ahead and listen to that again if you didn't get it okay. when that hip comes up you got a nice strong line going down okay scoop in the tummy muscles make sure you haven't twisted forward or back and release we're just warming it up if you don't feel comfortable doing the plank please don't do it okay and if you don't feel comfortable holding it for eight like we're going to do now don't <laughs> All right, I haven't done this for a while either, so I'm with you guys. Okay, are you? Make sure you've got enough padding. If you don't feel like there's enough padding, you double up your carpet a bit, okay, for your elbow. We're ready for the big count of eight. Nice, strong, scooping the tummy muscles, stretch those legs away, and we are counting. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight, and release. If you want to come on up shake that shoulder out um, <coughs> the other thing that sometimes happens in the plank on the side is that your head comes forward and juts forward to try and shorten these muscles here to try and find anywhere else for the body to have to work but maintaining this strong girdle okay so make sure you've got that chin tucked in and pulled back in line with the, the, the spine okay not jutting forward all right we're going to go on to another one. Are you ready? Strengthen up that shoulder bridge. Keep that chin tucked in, long back of the neck. Lengthen up the body. Get the hips off the ground. Don't twist forward. Shoulder on shoulder. And holding for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Release. Oh, it's been a while since we've done that. Okay, that was two. We're going to do one more. But if you feel... That that's too much pressure on that shoulder don't do another one okay be sensible people <laughs> for those of us, those of you who are feeling up to a third one i've just started with a few beads of sweat on my forehead isn't that grand okay so let's go for the last one and up we go your hand can go anywhere you like anywhere it feels comfortable eight seven six five four three two and one and you see what i did there <laughs> i got chatting and i managed to squeeze in a few extra seconds so devious all right going on to the other side i'm going on to my right side now i'm not sure which side's going to be better but i'll let you know okay we're going to first start off with a few warm-ups so go on to that left the uh, right shoulder remember that's floppy that's extended get nice and strong Call in all muscle groups around that shoulder. Okay, lifting up, get your alignment, feel it, get the head supported, back, and release. Ah, nice little sweat going on there. Beautiful. Again, if your shoulder doesn't like it, then don't do it. Okay. I don't want to be now have that message of saying, you broke my shoulder. No, know yourself. You got strong shoulder let's do it all right sliding out lift those hips scoop in the tummy muscle support the neck feel it make sure you're not tilted forward and release okay are we ready for the countdown <sighs> did we do three sets of eight on the other side <laughs> ah, telephone call i gotta go i'm kidding all right this is it ready for the countdown Again, your hands can go in any position you feel comfortable with. Okay, let's try all three. We're doing three sets, so let's go. Hand on the shoulder, hips up, shoulder on shoulder. Eight, seven, scoop in the tummy. Five, four, three, 
two, and one, release. Good. Okay, I think this is my stronger side. I'm so glad I started on that side. <laughs> ah, my chest. <laughs> All right. Ready for the next one. Get into your position. Strengthen up that shoulder girdle. Support the neck and shoulders. Lift that hip up. And here we go. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. And release. And actually, I prefer my arm up to the ceiling because it really keeps my chest nice and open. I could feel like I could breathe easier. When I had my hand here, it closed my chest a bit and I couldn't breathe as nicely. So I'll try the next one will be here, which should also keep a nice open chest. Hello. We're almost going for a walk. It's almost time. Right. Into position, strengthen up that shoulder. I'm going to put my hand on my head now, keeping my chest nice and open and shoulders in line with each other. Last set. Here we go. Eight, seven, support the neck. Six, tummy in. Five, four, keep this hip forward. Three, two, one, and release. Excellent. Well done. I'm going to slip on forward here. Ah. Coming forward. Because now we're going to release those shoulders quickly. Okay. So. Go ahead and sit down on your butt, cross your legs, and just lift the shoulders and drop them. Lift, again, hands on the, on, the, on the knees. Lift and drop, straight up, straight down. Good, hands behind the back, stretch those shoulders. Oh, that feels good, and release. Hold the shoulders, drop the head down, ear to the shoulder, Chin to the chest, ear to the shoulder. And ribs, lift the right side, lift the left side, ribs. Good. Drop the hands forward, head down, and round the spine. Putting the shoulder blades away from each other. Pull them away. Release. Tuck the tummy in, round the spine, and push the chest forward. Round the spine, and forward. If I have to do that from the side, it's one of my favorite all-time stretches is I'm pressing the chest forward and then I'm rounding, pressing chest forward and rounding the back. Nice. All right, let's do some roll-ups. I'm just going to do three, just to loosen up the spine. Breathe in, flex the feet and curling down, arms overhead. Breathe in, point the toes. Bring the arms forward, curling forward. Keep the chin tucked in and stretch for the toes. Sitting up tall, flexing the feet and curling down. Breathe in. Forward and stretching. Watch that those knees don't turn out and bend. Sit up tall. Flex and curling down. Arms overhead. Last one. Breathe in. Curling and stretching forward. And release. Good job. All right. We're almost done, guys. We're almost done. Onto the tummy. <sighs> okay, I want to loosen up those shoulders just that little bit more. So you're going to just keep one head on the mat, hands tucked in, stretch the right arm forward, left arm back, and change. Just take them off the ground slightly, okay? Left arm extended, right arm, left arm. Right arm, stretch, tuck that elbow in, stretch, three, four, five, get a full extension, six, seven, eight, and eight. Dog stretch. <laughs> and shell stretch, release, release. And up. Can you not photobomb me right now? Dog stretch. Good girl. Nice one. All right. Do you want to go outside? Come on. Come on. 
I'll be there just now. Hey, she's a hard task master, that one. Okay, to finish up, the last exercise we're going to do is into a push-up position. We're going to just pull that knee under the chest like we did before and stretch up to the ceiling. Okay, we're just going to do eight on each side. Push-up position, knee under, extend up. Ready? Anna, are you ready? Eight on each side, then we're done. Push-up position, knee to chest, extend. Push the heel down, knee to chest, two, and extend. Three, shoulders back, stretch. Four, and stretch. Five, extend. Six, and up to the ceiling. Seven, and eight. And extend, knees down, and release it out. Hello? Okay, I'm almost done. Five minutes. <sighs> I'm in, I am in demand today. All right, other side. Push up position, left knee under, and up to the ceiling. Stretch it up there. Two, extend. Three, stretch. Get that nice extension. Four, yay. Five, lengthen away. Six, and up. Seven, last one. Eight, length, dog stretch, and walk those hands back. Woo, I'm going to just change my camera quick. <sighs> that was awesome. <laughs> Shake it out. Shake everything out. Wrist circles. Oh. Arm circles. Be ready for a swing. <sighs> nice deep breath in. And swing it all out. Let it go. <sighs> and up. <sighs> We're going to do three more. Relax the whole body, let those shoulders swing. Two more. Oh, that feels good. And one more. Yay! And, re <coughs> and relax. Goodness me. Well, I quickly have a coughing fit and a hair. Goodness. <laughs> All right, so I know <laughs> that was quite tough. But it felt great, and you've got a few days to recover before I'm back on your case. Um, I'm going to put through a little short video in the next day or two, some more um, breathing techniques and some nice tapping work. So look out for that. Be sure to drink some water after this session. I think we moved a lot of stuff. Um, that's it. I hope you enjoyed it, and I hope you're all well, and I love you. Mwah! Have a great day. I'm going to walk my dog now because she's barking at me. <laughs> Love you guys. See you soon. Ciao. Uh, I've really got to learn to push that button better. Here we go. Nope.